Raymond is like Tom Elliott, who was responsible for transmitting Queensland's first TV news on the 9th of October, 1935. was a unique improvisation of available material and the news transmitted in 30 line definition was the front and news pages of the Courier Mail. Welcome to VK4RTV, the amateur television repeater of the South East Queensland ATV group. Our repeater is situated just around the corner from the old town mill where it all happened some 50 years before. The only thing that's changed is the city skyline. From a mid-city building, a dual Alfred slot giving an omnidirectional pattern with a gain of approximately 9 dB transmits a test pattern and ident to the suburbs around Brisbane. The group has around 45 members consisting of members in nearly all states as well as New Zealand and America. Much work has been done to improve the information made available to this side of amateur radio. The South East Queensland ATV group produces a quietly magazine called Amateur Eye which contains constructional articles and other information on our hobby. The temporary setup was tried using Yagi antennas, but the real solution was the Alfred slot. The Alfred slot is omnidirectional with horizontal polarity. For 579 MHz, it's made from a 3-inch diameter copper tube with a half-inch slot down one side. However, we chose to double its gain using two slots phased together. The dual Alfred slot transmitter antenna was designed by Richard VK4XRL from information gained from the BATC in America. In fact, this antenna is similar to that built by Bill Simister VK5KTV for the Adelaide ATV repeater. antenna was constructed by members of the South East Queensland ATV group. The antenna was then finally hauled to a high test site and fixed where final testing was carried out over a few months. result is good reception all round, so the Alford slot awaits permanent installation high on a Brisbane city building. The group has been active over 10 years and has provided lectures ranging from the introduction to ATV, building your first ATV transmitter and designing VSB transmitters for the amateur service. In fact, it was the VK4 ATVS who first introduced the Mitsubishi solid state power amplifier module into service. Other lectures have provided hands-on operation with camera and lighting techniques. Other interested parties have also participated, such as the next clip will show. The other end is that your black and white level is going to go up and down. Good evening. I am Wendy Wiley, the Assistant Venture Leader from the West Breckenridge Venturers, 
and we're visiting the South East Queensland ATV this evening and I'd like to interview Richard. Um, how long have you been associated with this group? I've uh, been associated with this group uh, since uh, 1988. 1988, right, and you're currently the president? That's correct. Right. Um, what sort of things do, does this group do? Uh, varied uh, from the demonstration like we've got tonight in lighting techniques, camera techniques, um, technical uh, bits and pieces like you saw on the blackboard, and uh, building projects, building up transmitters, receivers, all that type of thing that's associated with television. Right. And where do you transmit from? Do you have your own station? Most of us have got our own station at home somewhere, and uh, we transmit into a repeater that's in the city. Right, so you communicate to each other. Everybody can view that repeater and get a reasonable sort of picture from uh, as far north as Caboolture to uh, Ipswich in the south. Right, and so how many members um, would you At the moment the current membership is 42 and that consists of uh, one from the United States, uh, three from New Zealand, so I think there's two from Perth and uh, Adelaide. Right, so your TV range goes well our television range itself is transmitting doesn't but at least the word gets around right okay and i've just about run out of questions have you so how much longer am i supposed to go well wendy i've got a couple for you uh oh. you might like to tell us um what you what you think about tonight i mean uh, is there something new i believe you've never been in front of a camera before is that true no i don't make a habit of it no, you don't no right the other thing, uh, Wendy, that I think might come as a great shock to you, this picture at the moment is being transmitted live through our repeater, and uh, other viewers around Brisbane are seeing it at the moment. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy, well, that cheers me up. <laughs> well, <laughs> Wendy did start this interview, but it looks like I'm going to finish it. Thanks, Wendy. <laughs> other lectures containing details of equipment used by members can be transmitted through our repeater as this one from Bob VK 480 in shows. Megacycle transmitting antenna which is another Yagi with on air discussions also take place during our Tuesday night net. with uh, 50 ohm cable and a 4 to 1 ballon as well. Station equipment for transmitting the television picture consists of the exciter assembly with an output of approximately 1 watt average power. This is then amplified by the driver. We have approximately 10 watts output. And the two files fed with the combiners produce a power in the order of 50 watts out. We can see the circuitry of the driver unit which is capable of around 10 watts output average power. Brian, VK4BDB, is our project officer and has been responsible for our PC design. All equipment is first prototyped Shown here is our dual sound ATV VSB IF modulator. Brian's antenna farm uses four fixed 19 element Yagis phased together for reception on 580 MHz. The VK4 ATV group has always been involved on numerous occasions in setting up outside broadcasts. Jota is a yearly event which allows linking through our ATV repeater so that guides and scouts can participate from the different venues. These pictures are from Mount Cotton with thanks to VK4 KWB.
these Mount Glorious pitches are from VK4XRB and was interlinked on 1250 MHz AFM ATV. Apart from ATV, our two metre voice repeater is used as the VK4 gateway to the OSAT Earth Station. The group has also a 70 centimetre voice repeater situated halfway between the Gulf Coast and Brisbane. Extensive use is made of 1250s and 10 gigahertz equipment during these OBs. The furthest distance for 1250 megahertz has been approximately 66 kilometres to Mount Mellon. The group's most ambitious outside broadcast to date was a celebration of the 75th anniversary of Lamington National Park. This required linking between the two resorts to provide a two-way television hookup, plus the complete proceedings was transmitted to our repeater some 60 kilometres away in Brisbane. Packer is or was after it. And so does Richard Carden. And well, you might ask, who is Richard Carden and why include him with the others? Well, he too has a TV station. But as Mark Sulo reports, it's one of the smallest in the world. Yeah, VK4 BDB, VK4 XL. Thanks, Brian, for calling in and welcome to our Tuesday night net. They're almost a dime a dozen now, television stations. Buy one and we'll throw in a radio station as well. Of course, I'm not talking about real television, big television, the sort of television that the bloke that I work for has. Well, the television I speak of is backyard television. For further information about the South East Queensland ATV Group, please contact our secretary, South East Queensland ATV Group, Box 3, Post Office, Chermside, 4032, Brisbane.